Yo, 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 what is good? We are back for round two. You know, 10 year anniversary of the best of OMA ascending. Here for another therapy session. These really remind me of therapy. Um, trying to remember where we picked off last. Um, yeah, we just finished off a tale from the dark side of the moon. We're going to get to, to more of tales from the dark side of the moon here and everything. Uh, I think I know what's coming next. I don't know if I'm ready to just jump into this one, but uh, let's do it. Let's do it, shall we? All right, just hit record. Yeah, this is it. So transgressions. I, <laughs> before we even get started here. Um, so, you know, I talked about my previous venture, my crusades for Christ and everything like that in, in the first section. Here, uh, Tales of the Dark Side of the Moon is more about uh, experiencing like the dark side of, you know, really, again, a broader picture of life. And this is where I kind of like air out, I guess, grievances of myself, uh, my world around me, uh, personal perspectives, basically showing that, you know, life's not perfect, you know, so why pretend to be in life, especially from uh, those we love, you know, those that are closest to us. A lot of things and uh, ideals are projected onto us and we might not necessarily accept them. You know, we reject them or we reluctantly accept them and that causes us to be unhappy, you know. So I was really pretty much addressing uh, the projections that were, you know, given upon me here in this song. So hope you are ready for another cringe fest with OMA. <laughs> oh shit, man. This feels like I'm, I'm talking to my, my past self, like, 10 years ago and, and coping coping here with things that I've dealt with but uh yeah oh man right can can I hear it on, on the interview uh, are we gonna screen record anyway right yeah Ma, Oh, mm -hmm. oh, what did I do? Did I do something? Or is it the, uh... No, he's not hardly worth it. We're talking the same person. Amari, my leg, I'm if not far dig for you. Hit bottom, treat for face, get this one, jump to one puzzle, quick coffin. Don't absolve all my flaws, cause this shit's common. I find God's one to forget, but he doesn't forget all the fake so deep that shit. Being the person that neighbor to sit on his ass, cause the stick shoved him. Rather than God's exposed peccadillos of rose with the nose stuck in the air, I chose to admit of them. I got the boss. I think I was listening to more Eminem at the time. Wrong place, front and for acceptance and make Love it. In vain, I've been blamed on that unfulfilling walk of shame. A shame that proved water and wine don't Still learning to write choruses. But more melodic. Again, using the big words. No you could definitely hear the Eminem influence on, especially on the hook. When you bear the ground, well, the most shoulders wears you down. Whereabouts have you stared up down? I tell you, wear it out, hair and now, overcome and fear and doubt. And I had it swept into the rug. I didn't pay for no drugs, I paid my own blood, but I thought it was thug. So bad, had this was a bad sad. Gangsta phase. You're like junior high. I still ask my dad, I can't believe you better watch his ass. He don't wash his ass. When he does, you could see the dirt wiped off his rags. That makes me that, that was a thing. <laughs> now that that's passed, I've got some rash from lots of bats. Yep. In fact, I offer my life savings to church today since worse can straight. When did my father's gonna take my Bible? Away? I think I need to address this, some of this, this stuff here. Here, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. even bother when you're in a family, you're not even the part of. Okay, respect show, but through love, wait a minute, you just ask me to. So, we, we covered a lot of ground in that, that second verse. Um, yeah, so I was like planning to like just leave and become like a, a vagrant you know, preaching the word and everything uh, back in high school. And that, that's what I was really on. And um, 
Oh, I, I, there was this one line in there I said, uh, I was actually reading the Bible like so much and like just like I just didn't care about school or anything like that. And I was like studying it so much. My dad actually took my Bible away from me. Like, <laughs> like it's a very interesting circumstance. I'm, not, I'm sure probably not many people can relate to that, you know, but uh, <laughs> you know, when you're such a good kid that you're a bad kid. <laughs> You know, and it's very interesting, you know, the world that I live in now is like a total 180, you know. Um, so I just felt like that was that was interesting uh, story circumstance. I think that was definitely no uh, worth worth noting, you know, um, there there are a lot of things, references, points that things that I might only know of or like close people and family members, friends, you know, might know of. Um, you know, so I just figured I'd, I'd let y'all in on uh, some of these, the secrets and, and things that I'm actually referring to. If you call me Drake, then you are mistaken. Show me man with no dirt and the lies when I make them. Not meant to take men's reputation. We're saving our guilty to keep your side. I get to the blame and I can't win the past to make amends for making my shares of mistakes and we're on their way in. Who am I kidding? No escape in the past, and it can't been no fix and starts replaced in the starts can never change them. Rent. Some of them worse than stole the cheap. Choke their meat and consider a licking a fine girls to the seat. I'm not gonna address that. I killed a man for the right. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. Findings and perfections trying to even out back with steps where I begin. Brand new. No more terrorized treatment. I'm leaving the past with the thoughts, and I'm leaving. Increasing my projected trajectory Perfect is what we expect from me Yes, me, my winning even puts us in jeopardy As I pass the path on my path of future is all that's left for me I give myself slack and I'm not going right back And there were a stain on my track record I didn't record in my track But you never would have known me like that But you never would have known me differently Until I opened my track So we start writing better, more cohesive songs they, they actually make more sense, like as a song you know, it's not just like purely message, purely lyrics, you know, but it's actually more introspective content that we're starting to get into here. Who am I kidding? No escape in the past and it can't be no fix and starts replaced them, but starts can never change them. Contrary to what you may think, I'm not perfect. Fact. Yeah, that shit's still cringe. You might think I'm perfect. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. When I wrote this, I was like 17, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like my diary. I'm spilling my heart out here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. You put things in perspective. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this this song is a very interesting song. It definitely deserves context and backstory. This song, the monster here, is uh, it deals with me converting or attempting to convert rather one of my closest friends to Christianity. Like, and at the time we were we were learning a lot of literature, we were reading a lot of books, a lot of um, so, but but uh, a lot of really deep, in interesting, philosophical and psychological uh, commentary. But this one I'm referring to right here is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. That's what we were reading at the time. And I kind of compared, um, I likened Frankenstein and creating a monster, you know, just a, a, a conglobation of all of these different pieces, particles and aspects of, of like flesh and I, I kind of likened it to philosophies and ideas, you know, that was my own. And in turn, like it creates like a monster, you know, and it, and it goes in and lashes, lashes out at you. And, you know, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of where we are with artificial intelligence here right now, you know, so maybe that's something relevant for the times. Um, but, yeah, that's what this song is about, to put things in perspective. Uh, again, we talked about other, the last song was about other people projecting their ideas onto me. This song is more about me projecting, you know, ideas on onto those around me, and and that having, 
negative repercussions and consequences. So that's what this song is about. The monster. Get the fuck away from me. No. No! Show me you break the bone and tore the story. So let you down the door, you're now getting the ball with toys. I thought that vocabulary. Here, I'm starting to get a better flow here. We actually have a music, a lyric video of this song as well. It's like, how can you project incomplete philosophies and ideas onto somebody else? You haven't even lived your full life yet. Yeah. It's like, people really be fucking around and really don't know what they're doing. Yeah. But they'll go ahead and tell, give you some advice, right? Definitely influenced by Eminem on this song. <laughs> Nugan Clear Bomb Cause that was homie's last name, Nugan That's what we called him in these When You just gotta live with your mistakes, shit that you fucked up in life. And, uh, nah, but we're cool now, it's all good. It's all good. This song. I used to perform this song in the bus. It's called Invasion. It's really just a good beat. Again, like a lot of vocabulary. <laughs> A crumping song, for sure. A what? A crumping song. Crumping song? Yeah, it's from like, like Stomp the Yard. I can see that. Yeah, it got people lit on the bus for real. <laughs> Back in high school. I don't think anybody knew what I was saying, though. Mm -hmm. It don't matter, it's just that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I had a good flow. Um, it's really a song about being a star or a planet, you know, in your own galaxy, in your own solar system, and letting your light shine. Yeah, that's basically got the heart of what I'm saying. And you have a lot of things that cloud your light, you know, but you got to shine regardless. Again, heavily influenced by Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Cannabis. Maybe not as much Eminem at this point. Descendants and those of you who are new, I am OMA, one who may ascend, conscious trap metal recording artist. Here on our YouTube channel, you can expect exclusive content, some uh, music, freestyles, vlogs, exclusive behind the scenes, you know, so make sure you turn on your post notifications, subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, this is community, this is about family, this is about all of us. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come, we're going all the way up, eyes to the sky.